come up from the log yard. They've been loaded onto the log deck down here by one of the Volvos. And the logs then come onto the first part of the process. And they go down the line here. And, and the first machine center we can see in front of us is a chipper canter. So there's two vertical sets of revolving knives that take a face off the log. The log then goes through 90 degrees. And we further take it off and second the other two faces. So at that point, we've got what we call a cant, with, where the log has been squared off. Or not quite, but with the corners nicked out. So this is, this is the green mill control room and all functions of the sawmill uh, are controlled from, from here. From this, this operator is controlling everything that's going on within, within the line. square centre sections up and they're produced products of different dimensions. The first cut typically takes pallet wood off and then the second and third cut will take generally construction or fencing material. And then behind us we've got a side load that's waiting for packed to come out of the sawmill to, to go from the end of what's now the primary process to what we now call secondary processes where we move on to value added. So we are now standing in front of packs that are ready to go into the kilns. Any construction grade material has to be kilned. The kilns are behind us here. We have seven kilns here. The heat from these is produced from our biomass boiler that we have on, on site. Um, so it's, we're burning yard sweepings and things like that to generate, generate the heat. A typical cycle in the kilns is about 72 hours. When, and we basically taking the moisture content of that product from around about 50% to a bit below 20, 20%. Harry, can you tell us more about what's going on behind us? Yeah, so uh, we're standing at the feed to the biomass boiler. As we discussed earlier, this provides all the heat for the kilns and in, indeed all the, the total heat requirement for the site, so the, the offices things like that uh, wow. we, we use the, the tea. and it's uh we're utilizing the lowest value products that are generated from the logs here so yard sweepings where bark and uh, wood chip are mixed together they, they, they don't have much value in in other co-product markets so it's a great a great um, place to utilize them on site here wow amazing very sustainable indeed what are the products behind us right now? Yeah, okay, so we've got a variety of fencing pot products behind us. We've got some, uh, some garden sleepers uh, here. So it's been a big market for us over the last few years and these have been treated. And it's perhaps useful to reflect on almost all of our products now have some sort of value added element to, it, to them. So as in this case, they've been treated. So uh, if they're in contact with with the ground, it reduces the chance of uh, rot. We've talked about the uh, kiln kilning process. When we produce construction timber, we uh, stress grade that so that we ensure that it's fit for purpose and strong enough for for its application. So, and then and then then we'll plane that material so it gives it a, a nice finish when it's being handled. So. Uh, a lot of added value going on on the site these days. So, uh, product for the decking market that's been been treated. Um, that's a that's a not not such a busy market as it used to be at one time, but but still producing quite a bit of, of that material. These are various products for fencing. These are the fence, fence posts, 100 by 200s. 
then we've got feather edge boarding for people's fences in the garden so we have where people put overlapping uh, fences up there that feather edge can be quite a big market for us in in the spring So Harry, what is this product here? So this is really our bread and butter at this site. This is the product generally that we're really trying to focus on producing, which is construction material. Typically about 60% of the group's production go into the construction sector. So this is uh, graded to make sure it's strong enough for, for its application, which is, is roof um, or internal wall studdings or, or load bearing um, within house building. It's kiln dry, we've looked at the kilns already, uh, and it's plain as well. And then we wrap it so it's uh, protected and it's journey on to customer. Okay, so we've got three treatment tanks on the site. We can produce green and brown treatment. Uh, it's to make the product so it's fit for brown contacts. So it's going to protect the degrade when the timber's constantly wet. 